Oh no! Oh wow! Oh oh. Okay, never mind. It was to be completely expected anyway. And I'm talking about the Oakland Panthers. You know, the one owned by Roy Choi and Marshawn Lynch. You know that one. That that team from the IFL went ahead and said, "All right, we're closing up shop for 2021. We're not playing next year." Uh, but we're going to try and come back in 2022. Now, usually going dormant isn't the greatest idea in the indoor circles. Um, that usually means something's going wrong behind the scenes. And if you don't make money for, if you, if you don't even try to make money for a year, you know, that is a death blow right there. We've already got teams opting out of seasons and stuff like that in other sports, but for the IFL, which relies on things such as ticket sales and fan attendance, you know, uh, this is kind of a huge blow. And then, you know, the rumors are still out there. Like, as far as the Cedar Rapids site goes, it hasn't been updated in a while. There hasn't been anything... Other the, the last tweet that I saw from them was a retweet about Columbus, which tells you a lot. And then, you know, San Diego, you know, the strike force. Last time we really heard about them was back in May when they were doing, a, you know, a bunch of COVID relief stuff and things like that and helping out the community. So um, all three of these teams, and these, and at least you know, Cedar Rapids and San Diego were supposed to be rumored to go dormant anyway, but Oakland is the latest, and I believe you know I, I already said this I, weeks ago or however long ago I said it that you know the teams that the IFL is adding now are basically replacements for these three. I think Roy Choi might have bit too much. He probably had. You know, too much money to throw away. To be completely honest, now this is all just speculation on my part, and, and you know, getting you know information as it comes, because I'm not really you know a reporter or anything like that, as we all know. But I'm just analyzing the situation and making you know opinions and guesses based on what I see, because what I see is three teams getting replaced. You know, by Prescott Valley, by Massachusetts, and by Columbus. Columbus has the Germains right now, and they have pretty much everything in the IFL under control now, trying to, you know, get the IFL on a national stage, remember? And, you know, Massachusetts, they were upset with the NAL, so they came up over here at Prescott Valley. You know, now they're over here. And, of course, you know, Kevin Guy is still Kevin Guy. You know, he's just... Moving up on the ladder in Arizona. Doing a lot of stuff. But, um, yeah, so these three teams are probably gone for good, you know. I, I'm not going to lie to you. They might be gone for good. They might come back. But, they, but it's probably, you know, you know the, the fact that these teams may not even play at all. At least until 2022. If that so there you have it. it it's a curious case and we, we, we got to get to the bottom of it you know there, a pa there's a small but very passionate IFL fan base and we all got to get to the bottom of it boys and girls and everybody in between so what do you think do you think Oakland's gone uh, tell me in the comment section below like share subscribe do all that good stuff and We'll see you later on this weekend. Take care, everybody.